Welcome to Bless Your Rank. My name is Matt, and today we are ranking French fries. Fast food French fries. Or as we call them in the South, tater sticks. No one calls them that. Do I love French fries? Certain types of French fries. I'm a French fry snob. There are some places I go to that I won't even bother getting the fries because I know that they're so bad and disappointing that I don't even want that in my life right now. I don't have time for that disappointment. Give me the good stuff. Some serve no purpose other than to be shovels of sauces that they have, just to put it into my mouth. Some uh, are best with chocolate milkshakes. And if you don't dip your french fries in chocolate milkshakes, you ain't living. Don't knock it till you try it. And even after you try it and you don't like it, don't knock it anyway, because I don't want to hear it. I'm getting worked up already. I hadn't even had fries yet. Let's eat the fries! Oh, reset the shot. We're judging the top seven places as submitted by our Facebook supporters. So these are their favorite fast food french fries, and then we're gonna rank them today. Also, it's important to note that we're not having any sauces with these fries today, because that's not fair. We're just having straight up french fries. No ketchup, no special sauce, no milkshakes. Just the fries, ma'am. I have a tattoo that says that. Contestant number one, Arby's french fries, which are just curly fries, which are maybe the best form of french fries. I'm just gonna say it. It's fun, it's fun. It's like the silly straws that you drink as a child. Like it just, anything that is that is twirly like that automatically becomes better and more fun. So look at that, that's not natural. You don't see that in the natural world right there. Uh, I knew that Arby's fries were gonna be a serious contender in today's event, but there's no doubt about it. I'm pretty excited about this. That's good, that's good. These are good, they are addicting. This is the kind of french fries that are dangerous to have in a bag with other people's french fries that you've bought Arby's for. And before you get back to the office, you realize you've not only eaten all of your fries, you've eaten all of your coworkers' fries too. Then you gotta ditch both containers and be like, oh, whoops, they forgot to give you your fries, Bill. Sorry about that. Crazy old Arby's. I've already eaten half of these now, and I didn't even realize it. I blacked out shoveling these fries in my mouth. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I don't know if there is a downside to Arby's fries. They're not super greasy. I guess if you don't like curly things, then sure, I guess that's a negative, but who doesn't like curly things? These are good. They really put a smile on your face. How do they rank is the important question. Uh, they rank first. Coincidentally, also last. Also, they just took the shape of the container. I'm starting to think that Arby's is not from this planet which would make sense of their slogan, which is like, we have the meats. Like, we understand humans need meats. Guess what, humans, we have the meats. Uh, all right, so Alien Planet Arby's goes right here in first place. And I wouldn't be surprised if Arby's stays in first place the rest of this competition. Contestant number two, McDonald's. But up, but but ba here are the french fries. Or, uh, in some parts of the South, McDonald's. Or, if you're hit to the streets, Mickey D's. Uh, this is these, this is the heavyweight of the french fry competition right here. This is their game to lose, pretty much. How are McDonald's french fries made? Similar in the way that crack cocaine is made. Um, no one knows, it's just highly addictive. These are so good. Why is that? Why are they so good? Man, they're good. Holy crap. Has it just been that long since I had McDonald's fries? This is a taste that does not occur naturally in our world. It's just like somehow McDonald's is the only one that can do it. You could dip these in ketchup, but they're probably best just plain. Just straight up the way God and Ronald McDonald intended. There is one complaint though that I have, and I bet I'm gonna find it here, is that in every thing of fries I've ever gotten at McDonald's, always near the bottom, you get like the reject fries. They're like, it's like when you get a bucket of popcorn at the movie theater, and it's always the really crappy popcorn and kernels are gonna be down there at the bottom. You get the tiny ones that are like, will break a tooth. Uh, you can't hold them and dip them in anything because they're too small. What is this? What is this? Do you see this? McDonald's, what is this? Holy crap, looking at these two side by side, these are two very different colors of fries. Like who's let me down the least as far as their french fries go? Probably gonna be Arby's. They just have better taste and they're curly. And who doesn't, who doesn't love that? I'm gonna say Arby's continues to hold the lead. McDonald's is a very close second. Um, contestant number three, five guys. Five, we shouldn't have made them number five. Oh well, come on, bring it on, let's do it. 
That's just a big old bag of grease. It's like they're trying to get rid of fries. It's, it's alarming, really. But in a way, it's endearing. It's, it's, I live my life like I want to be as generous with my time and my money as Five Guys is with their french fries. Oh man. Now this is like, this is as close as you can get to like homemade like fries, home fries, whatever you want to call them. Like you know that they're real potatoes. Like you can see the skin of that potato all along the side of this fry here. And when you walk into Five Guys, they'll actually have a little board that says today's potatoes come from and they'll tell you what town they came from. Like, you know, Boise, Idaho or Potato Town, Idaho. Or I only know one place in Idaho and it's Boise. My apologies to our Idaho fans. I'm talking to both of you. I'm very sorry. When you would go to like a seafood restaurant and you're picking out your lobster out of the tank, like that's I imagine the same experience for vegans when they go get their fries. They get to know exactly where their potatoes come from before they murder that potato. We ordered just the Five Guys plain regular french fries. They do have Cajun fries, which are insanely good, as all things Cajun are. You could put Cajun in front of anything and it would probably taste delicious. Cajun french fries, Cajun fish, Cajun Flintstone vitamins, Cajun, um, Cajun taxes, Cajun potholes, Cajun uh, Atlanta traffic. Uh, if you don't like spicy things, um, then don't order them. And also, just get away from me. Man, these fries are good. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. They're in first place right now. So, shout out to you, five gentlemen. Your fries are great. Contestant number four, checkers slash rallies. What happened? We don't have any fries? No fries? What happened? They weren't open in the middle of the day. They weren't open, they shut down. They were blocking the drive through with milk crates. There was a line, but no one was in the building serving food. That seems very rallies to me. That's very on brand. You know, but this is the kind of thing that you would expect from a restaurant that doesn't even know who they are. Are you checkers or are you rallies? Make up your mind. It's the same with Hardee's. Are you Hardee's or are you Carl's Jr.? Does Carl Jr. have outstanding warrants in some areas that he can't go into, so Hardee's goes and sells burgers for him? Make up your mind on who you are, and then maybe check on your Birmingham locations, because they were all shut down today. This was disappointing, because I knew that these were a, a strong contender in the fry contest today. So rest in peace to rallies and checkers. Crazy good food. Today, they were just crazy. Well, they're in fourth place. So there's that. Contestant number five, Chick-fil-A. Probably the best design for dipping because the, like, the little waffle things catch more sauce. And Chick-fil-A sauce game is pretty good. They have, at last count, I think, um, 42 different types of sauces. Those are good fries. And they're apparently sprinkled with sea salt by Jesus himself from the Sea of Galilee. These fries are much better with sauce. By themselves, I mean, they're just okay. Also, they're so huge. Like, I feel like if I get like a regular medium-sized fry and Chick-fil-A gives me a few of these, I've only get about four of these fries in each container. They're gone quick. They're okay, they're good, but they are not the best French fries up here. I'm sorry um, to tell you that, Chick-fil-A. This will probably air on Sunday and you won't hear it anyway. So, I think Chick-fil-A, they're better than Checkers and Rally's fries because they don't exist anymore. So I'm going to say that Chick-fil-A is currently in fourth place. Some of y'all are getting really mad at me right now. I just need you to maybe think about the Holy Spirit and what would Jesus do? And he wouldn't get mad at me about the fries. He'd just pray for me. And I need your prayers right now because I'm eating a lot of French fries. All right, contestant number two, three, four, five, six, Popeyes. Popeyes? Why are they doing this? No one goes to Popeyes and gets fries. I, listen, I know we said we asked our supporters what their favorites were and they been several of them said Popeyes, so here they are. But I don't know, I feel like they might've been pranking me because Popeyes is not known for their french fries. So, first impressions, um, soggy? This is like a angry uh, mom just wagging her finger at you right now. That's just, I guess I have to eat one donut. That's part of the game, yeah. I just taste pepper. Mm, just okay. I don't know if anyone in the history of mankind 
who's ever gone to Popeye's just to order fries. If you do, seek help now. These are not good fries. Nah, don't know why I keep it in my mouth. I'm not good, I'm not gonna do that again. Also, why are they in a box? Just be like a normal restaurant and put your fries in the weird fried containers. Y'all know that we're trying to eat these and drive. Put them in cups that we can put in our cup holder. They care so little about their fries they don't even want to order like fry containers. They just put them in the chicken boxes. I will say this, they're far less greasy than I thought they would be. Best compliment that I can say about Popeyes is, I thought they would be worse. Get something else at Popeyes. Don't get, don't get french fries. Uh, where do they rank? Um, well, they're here, so therefore they are better than rallies and checkers. Number seven, the filing contestant, Wendy's. And I am not excited about it. Wendy's, uh, in all of the experiences I've had, they do not have good french fries unless you're dipping them in your frosting. The thing is people don't even like, Wendy's knows people don't even want fries. The most popular thing at Wendy's is like the four for four. People are just like, I want to make my own meal and just bypass the fries. If you could just give me two Junior Bacon cheeseburgers and two of the four piece nuggets, that'd be great. If you're gonna get a side item at Wendy's, just go for the nuggets and, and forget the fries. Yet, um, they have votes uh, from our supporters and therefore they have made the competition. So here they are, Wendy's. Yep, not good. Not good fries. No one's ever eaten a large fry at Wendy's by themselves. No one ever. This one looks like the end of a cigarette. Even like the potato skins like the, that they put here, they don't even like, I don't even think they're real. I think they're just painted on. These were airbrushed. Why? Wow, just stop doing it, Wendy's. Just make chicken nuggets your official side item. That would be awesome. I don't know where you, where you are, Wendy, if you are even real, if you're just a cartoon character, redheaded girl. But if you are real, hear our plea. Abandoned French fries. Frozen great value fries from Walmart are better than this. Not cooked, frozen. Time to rank them. And I'm going to say that even though they are not here, I know that Rally's Checkers fries are better than Wendy's fries. Do we have a non-clear container that we can put these in so no one else has to look at this atrocity? Perfect. Red Solo Cup, I fill you up with crappy french fries. Y'all can thank me later that you don't have to look at these anymore because uh, we've hidden them from you. Wendy's fries, dead last. Finishing behind, fries that don't even exist. Oh, I did not see this coming. Uh, I really thought coming into today's competition that Arby's had the best french fries, but Five Guys just taste like potato. They taste like you made french fries at home, that's what they're gonna taste like. And it makes you realize how much other fast food french fries maybe aren't potatoes. I'm not really sure where they come from. Uh, also, they're so generous with french fries. Um, it's going to take us the next three months to eat the large order of fries that we got from Five Guys. Overall, this was good. This was fun. Got a lot of grease everywhere. I don't want fries for at least the next hour, hour and a half. And then I'll be hungry again. And there you are, there are our final rankings. Um, it is what it is. Apologies to checkers slash rallies, uh, but it's really on you. Uh, I mean, we tried. Um, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to eat the rest of these fries and maybe become the sixth guy. Just throwing it out there. I am available. <laughs>